And in order to simplify this one, first thing we're going to need to do on this is distribution. So I'm going to distribute this 4 into the parentheses. So first I have 4 times the 5x. And then I'll add 4 times the 6 right there. And then I'll add this to, now I'm going to distribute the 9 into this set of parentheses. So that's 9 times the 7x minus 9 times the 3. So let's go ahead and evaluate these, each individual term. If I have 4 5x's, then I would have 20x's. And then if I have 4 sets of 6, 4 times 6 is 24. If I have 9 sets of 7x's, then I would have 63x's. And 9 times 3 is 27. Of course, we still have the operations between those. So I got plus, plus, and minus. If any of those had come out negative, then we would have just changed the signs or the operations in between. Now let's go ahead and find like terms. So first I've got our 20x right here and then a 63x. So that's a 20x plus 63x. Which, if I combine these as x's, <clears throat> I've got 20 plus 63, which would give me 83x's. Now let's look at our constants. I got this plus 24, positive 24, minus 27. So I got this 24 minus 27. And 24 minus 27 is a negative 3. And that actually right there is the answer, yeah, simplified.